Today we're going to discuss how to use Azure's Active Directory to control licenses and groups in your Dynamics 365 environments. Just to kick things off, a real quick intro about myself. My name is Jesse Buchels. I'm a Dynamics CE Functional Consultant in Barnesville, Minnesota, and I work for Stone Ridge Software. If you'd like to connect with me, I do have my email and LinkedIn listed at the bottom of the slide as well. So today we're going to be, for the most part, working in a demo environment. And the reason for today's presentation is that we recently had a client who was looking for more of an advanced security setup where they could take external users, assign them to a group, and then be able to apply a license to that group and just be able to pull users in and out of it. So they wouldn't have to assign individual users a license. They would just be able to assign them to that group. And then that would carry over into Dynamics. And along with that, a security role would just automatically be applied to the user while they're in their environment so that they could control the data that that user was going to be able to view. So here I am right now in a demo environment that I have spun up. And what I did is I went in and I've got a couple tabs opened up here. So first of all, we're looking at the Azure Active Directory. And if I just go back to the main screen here, you can see I've got users and groups on the left. And Jumping into groups, you can see in this particular demo environment, I've got six groups already set up. Uh, one of these that I created, the others just were part of this demo setup initially. Comparing that to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, I've got the same groups in here. So those are the that are familiar with uh, using the Admin Center to create groups or create users. Uh, you definitely know what this screen looks like. And one of the downfalls here is that when I create a group, I cannot go in and assign a license to it. I can add members, but those members would need to gain a license to the customer engagement environment through uh, the users uh, section on this site map. So again, this particular use case, the client wanted to be able to go in and not have to individually apply licenses, but just to be able to add and remove them from a group, just simply um, add or remove those licenses. So I'm going to go into the Midwest sales team here and show you what the setup looks like. So when we created this one, you can see that we've got a few different options on the left. Um, if I go into members, um, you can see that I've got two members in there now and in addition to that, I've also got the ability to apply licenses. So I've applied a license to this group uh, for the customer engagement plan. Now, as long as I have licenses available, any members that I add then to this group are going to be able to gain that license as well. So if I've got three members now in this particular group and I, and, and, and bear with me, it does take a minute to get them added. But if I've got three members, but I've only got two licenses available, it's not going to apply that third license. So I would need that third license available. So, and Alan will be applied here momentarily, uh, but it is that simple to get them added. So now the setup from the other end in Dynamics is uh, fairly simple as well. And what we need out of Azure is this object ID. So if I then go into my demo environment here and I jump into my Teams, now I'm gonna go in and give the ability to create you know, one of two types of Teams. I can create an Azure Active Directory Office group or a security group. And for this demo, I created an Office group um, if you need an email distribution list, that would be very helpful. Otherwise, the security group would be just fine. So once you go in, you're gonna name it, and then you're gonna choose if it's going to be an office or security group. In this instance, again, I chose office. But then here you're gonna copy that object ID that we saw listed in the Azure Active Directory. So I was able to copy this to clipboard here, 
come back when I was creating and just applied it. And now after saving this group, I can go in and I can assign roles. So if I've gone in and decided that I want them to have access to the customer service app, which would be important, as well as the security role of a customer service representative, and maybe you've got a custom role that really has only very limited uh, visibility to data, specific data as well, then you would obviously apply that role. Now, once I've done that, as soon as a team member logs into this environment, they're gonna show up here. They're not gonna show up right away. They do have to log into this Dynamics environment for the first time to be able to gain ag or to be able to show up in this list. But really quite simple, again, to, to get set up. So now coming back, if I was to go in and there you can see Alan is now part of this group, but you know maybe uh, Alicia has left the company or maybe this was an external user and they no longer need access to my environment. Simply come back here and remove that member from the group. And now that member no longer has a Dynamics customer engagement license. So again, really uh, quite easy to do, uh, quite easy to set up and manage versus having to go in and individually remove those licenses or remove them from groups uh, and, and to not have to come into Dynamics and individually have to assign a security role where once they are part of this group, they, they will inherit that security role as well. So real quick, high level overview of this security model. And one key takeaway being that the members that you add do not have to be internal users. I could go in and I could add an external user as well. So if you're using contractors or uh, another type of user that um, is not a current member of your organization, but you still need to give them access to data, that would be one way to do it uh, by adding them to this type of a group and then being able to simply uh, remove them from the group when they no longer need access.